Let's see these Mustangs in action out on the historic touring cars. In race one, the Mustangs did very well, with Neil Brown leading the pack home in his 1965 car named Sally. Greg Thornton rounded out the top five in Casper, but it was the other famous Ford, the Lotus Cortina, in the hands of Tim Davis that eventually took second. Sean McKinley took third with his BMW 1800Ti, and another Lotus Cortina in the hands of David Tomlin took fourth. Sunday's race saw a change of conditions. As Murray may say, it's raining and the track is wet. The grid for race two is the results of race one, but Neil Brown did not enter the second race, so Tim Davis's Cortina took the place of the Mustang. Mike Gardner's Cortina rounded off the top five. Poor start for Greg Thornton, saw him left behind by the Cortinas and overtaken by Roger Godfrey's Mini. Superb driving from Godfrey saw him move up to third as Sean McKinley's BMW took the lead and opened up a gap ahead of Tim Davis's Cortina. Thornton continued to battle his way back up to the top five, but the race belonged to McKinley, Davis and Godfrey, who took the podium with style ahead of Simon Benoy's Hillman Imp. Dominated that race from uh, start to finish. Got to be pretty pleased with that one. Yeah, over the moon. I mean, um, it's very tricky. This kind of, this kind of. Obviously, now we know it's proper wet. But when we were when we were lining up, I was saying to the guys about where where we should place the car, and we just went for a bit of a middle ground, really, because it was drying up quite quickly in the previous race. But yeah, I've had a whale of a time. Great weekend. Yeah. But uh, obviously, it uh, well, it wasn't raining this much to start of the race, but. No. Uh, were you pushing hard throughout, or when you're up top, did you think you could lay off a little bit and just pull back in some of the corners? Yeah, yeah. well, I was having too much fun, I think, to do that. I was having a whale of a time. And uh, as I say, that the car has been faultless all weekend. We had a really good dice yesterday. Um, but, yeah, it's been fan fantastic weekends. Well, hopefully, we'll be back for some more. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. How was that for you? Slippy? Lovely. <laughs> The Mini loves it. You have to be a little bit careful, but the Mini just loves it. It must be a bit strange for you being uh, battling with cars like Ford Mustangs and Ford Galaxies when you're in a small little Mini. It's very satisfying, very satisfying. And how, how is the track responding to you? Was it? It's okay for me, but, but at least I, I can, with front wheel drive, I can get the power down and keep it down, whereas these poor old boys in the rear wheel drive cars just keep losing the back, losing the back, yeah. I and mean, I just take advantage of it. Happy with second place? It would be nice to have been a bit wetter, yeah. I might have got first, but uh, let's not be greedy, the podium's good enough. <laughs> Third place, happy or...? Yeah, in, in the wet, yes, I'm happy because uh, it's so difficult to get the power down on the Cortina. It's, um, the the front-wheel drive cars have a massive advantage. Of course, we, we've got the power down the straight and the minis, but you know, this condition, and, and the, the rain d really came down in that last uh, couple of laps. Yeah. We suited the Mini eight, uh, perfectly. But fair play, the, you know, uh, the BMW uh, had a, a, a big grip uh, advantage, and he was gone, and I couldn't, couldn't follow him, you know. So, all in all, the car is in one piece. Yeah. Uh, fight another day. Yeah. Uh, yesterday's race was fantastic, and uh, looking forward to a dry Silverstone. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much.